What's up, fitness fam? Enrico Fiorinelli here, your fitness sensei. So uh, today, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing a plyometric workout. That's gonna be multiple joint movements that really going to work on the coordination from our upper and lower body strength and work the whole body today, together. You're gonna need two moderate weight dumbbells to perform the movement, and we're gonna make sure that we're engaging every single muscle in our body. Hope you enjoy. All right, everybody, so our first work movement for today's workout is going to be a basic ground to overhead. For this exercise, what we're gonna do is we're gonna need two moderate weight dumbbells. You don't wanna to go too heavy, you don't wanna to go too light with this. And we're literally just going to pick them up from the ground and bring them all the way up overhead. So this is going to work our leg, our back, our chest, our shoulders, and our triceps. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna to look to do this at, in an explosive dynamic manner to really get the most muscle activation that we could possibly get. So we come down, grab the weights, and bring them all the way up. Sink down, and up. And we're gonna do a set of 10. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, great job, everybody. So for our second exercise, what we're going to do is we're gonna do a dumbbell clean to press. The dumbbells are gonna be facing in front of us, leaning against our thighs. We're gonna start out with almost like a dumbbell deadlift movement, squeezing our back tight, we're gonna flip them up and press them up to the sky, and then we're gonna bring them back down. So, one for example, then we're gonna do our set of 10 together. We come down, bring it up, and up. Now notice, there's no pause, just up, and up. All right. Now here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, up, seven, eight, nine, Okay, great job. Okay, well, for our next exercise, we're gonna be performing what's called a Turkish get-up. So we're gonna come down to the floor with one dumbbell. So, with that one dumbbell, we're going to extend it straight, keeping our core tight. Notice, I have the same leg planted on the ground as the dumbbell that's in the air. So now I come up, I reach back and I stand up with it. Now the tricky part is to then come back down. So again, my arm stays locked in, chest tight, back tight. And what I do is I sit up, keep my foot planted, drive up and up to the sky. So we're gonna do five of these because they're pretty hard. We're gonna go five, and then five with the other side. Come down. And feel free to use your hand to come back down. All right, you ready? Here we go. So this is gonna be our first repetition together. Up. Keep that core tight. Thin up, that's gonna be one. Come down. Now all the better if you don't have to use your hands. It's gonna be that much harder of an exercise. You're gonna get that much more work out of it. Again, arm stays locked. Ready? Up, two, and sinking all the way down. Drive up, three, two more. Again, no hands. Up, four, woo! Feel these, come all the way down. Lay flat, and drive. Up, up, that's five. And now we gotta come back down. And let's get it to the other side.
Plant that foot. Again, switching sides now. Foot stays planted. So left hand, left leg are the ones that are gonna be very active. Good. Up, up, one, come down. And here we go. Two. Really work to that core. You feel that heart rate pump up. Go up. Three. Two more. Come down. Down. Leg straight. Up. Four. Whew. One more. Here we go. Down and finish the way that we started. Whew. Boy, those are brutal. Now we're going to steal an exercise that we typically do with the kettlebell, but we're going to actually do it with the dumbbell. Now, the advantage of doing it with the dumbbell is I'm going to assume most of you do not have a kettlebell at your house. Also, it's nice because it's going to work your grip a little bit more because you don't have that steady handle. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a dumbbell swing. So instead of a kettlebell, we're going to use our dumbbell. We hinge at the waist and throw it forward. Again, driving upward, squeezing our core tight as we come in from the side. Three, four, driving it up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Now that we did that, we're going to close up with a little bit of a smaller movement just to kind of re-emphasize everything that we've already used. So we're going to do just this basic curl to press. So for that, we're actually going to do a hammer curl and a press where our hands are facing each other the entire time. And what we're going to do is we're going to do it in such a manner where we're making sure that we're engaging our core and our lower back as we're doing it. So, we stand up nice and tall. Squeeze that back tight. Now I want you to press, bring it up, and press it up to the sky. We're going to look to do it in one motion. All right, you ready now? Here we go. Time for a set of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, one more. Great. All right, absolutely phenomenal job, everybody. I'm so happy that you joined me for this workout. Again, if you are enjoying these workouts, make sure that you like, comment, and share. A big shout out and thank you to everyone who sent me direct messages for programs, everyone who's contributed directly to these videos. Literally everything that you guys are doing is absolutely phenomenal. I love you all. Stay in, stay safe, be well. My name is Renika Fruit, another fitness sensei. Peace out.